What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks, you know who this is. Mr. Warmack, and I'm definitely back in the building. And today, I brought a special guest with me today, because we we're talking about a topic that, um, it's a head scratcher. Well, it shouldn't be a head scratcher to a lot of black people or a lot of people in general. Come on, Jonathan. Do your cameo. This is Jonathan Good. I mean, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. The president of Nigeria. And he's wondering the same thing I'm wondering. He's wondering why we haven't done this before, before this guy talked about it. Today, we're going to talk about Stephen A. Smith. And then you see down the bottom, he says Stephen A. Smith. And he, and he made the he made the headlines lately for saying blacks should vote Republican. Now, a lot of us have said this uh, in the past. A lot of us on YouTube, a lot, a lot of black YouTubers have said this in the past. I mean, and it's it's and I agree with him because, like I said, let me give you a point that he made. He made, and, he, and this is this is a similar point that a lot of us on YouTube have made. It's nothing different. It's just that he's got a little bit of he got celebrity and stature to him. He said, um, "Black folks in America," and I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I'm not going to direct quote him. Paraphrasing. You can look it up if you want. He said how black folks are really telling one party that we don't care about the want you, and the other party that you got our vote no matter what you do. So basically what he's trying to tell you is what we a lot of us have been telling you, that no matter what you do, black folks, neither party doesn't care about you. I'm sure if you all voted for the Republican Party, the Republicans will look at that and say, hey, look, we need to talk to them because I think we can work with them. That's the message he's trying to get. But the, like I said, the problem is, if you look at the 2012 election, 97% of black people voted for Barack Obama. And that was just off the strength of who he was. I mean, I mean, let's face it, white folks do that too. But at the end of the day, we're, I mean, more minorities, I think what it was is, um, first it was a black president, second of all, everybody thought he was going to do, hook everybody up, which, now you see he's not hooking anybody up on himself, he's a politician, folks, but that's another story for another day. Uh, fact of the matter is, like he was talking about, he was talking about how LBJ and the civil rights and this and how it was a Republican uh, led Congress, I believe. It wasn't LBJ again. LBJ was a Democrat, and the quote that he made that you suckers don't know about is and he, about how he can get you N-I-G-G, -G, well you know the rest of the story to vote for a Democrat for the next hundred years. And what he do? He threw scraps. And that's black folks, black leaders have settled for, and that's what a lot of us have been claiming, chiming about it. Hey, look, man, it's time to step up and do more. First of all, instead of, I mean, it, and I know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not speaking to the people who are going to cry. All oh, the voting system doesn't work. Votes don't matter. I'm not talking. If that's how you feel, don't vote. I don't know why you guys want to jump on the, the, the crybaby bandwagon with that anyway. Or it's the Illuminati. You sound stupid. But that's, you, you're lucky you live in America and you get an opinion like that. But uh, the fact of the matter is, is he uh, he made a quote, and I, I will quote this. He he made a, a great quote, which I I agree a hundred percent. He said that uh, we don't do that as far as shop around for, for votes. We don't do that with politics. We blame white America for our disenfranchisement, and that is so a hundred percent true. Because remember, I told you guys a couple a couple months back how the black uh, black uh, caucus went to um, Barack Obama after his second year. After his second uh, second uh, uh, presidency, and, and and demanded things, and I'm, th I'm thinking to myself, why are you going to go in his second term in his second year? You should either went in his first term and or for the second term to do that. And once you once you once you're in the pocket, and then and, and let's face it, folks, Obama didn't have to negotiate. He did it out of respect. Obama knows he has he had it in the, in the in his in the hip. He knows he has black folks in his hip. So, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people will say well, Republicans are like the KKK, which is an ignorant statement because the KKK is a democratically based organization. The KKK is like your Planned Parenthoods and all these other programs are designed to get rid of sick minorities. And, uh, and that's what it is. The KKK, the KKK was in prominence in like in like the 20s and 30s, 
And that was when, I mean, that's when they were sleeping on tents in the White House back in that, I mean, when the Great Depression. But the KKK was Democratic, folks. Martin Luther King was a Republican. But at the same time, I will say this. Back in those days, the Republicans were more of the liberal branch of the parties, and the Democrats were more of the conservative branch of the parties. It was only until LBJ did that, and you guys danced around for him, that, uh, that uh, the, the, the party switches happened, really. Once, once we start getting all these Section 8s, welfares, etc., Oh, and and then, the, then, then the deal was to ship the guy out the house. You get all this. Mm, let's take it. Yeah, that's a good idea now, huh? Now look at what you have. But the fact of the matter is this. I don't care. I don't even care if you don't vote Republican. Shop your services around. See who's going to work for you. Now, granted, now they can't make all your dreams realistic. A lot of you want a lot of stuff that's uh, unrealistic, un unattainable goals. You gotta, you gotta get together and work with the people who are willing to work with you. Now, if you can't do it, that's not my fault. But the fact of the matter is, Stephen A. Smith hit a logical point, which a lot of us have been talking about, which I see no problem with. This, this for the shakeup alone, that's what should have happened. But you know how it goes in the black community. Every time you do something that's a positive, there's three million negatives ready to, ready to come down on you. So.